Earlier today I read an interview with Brad Blanton who wrote Radical Honesty and it was very interesting. I, uh, I kept feeling compelled to read on because both the interviewer and the interviewee were very honest. The interviewer was somebody who was trying to practice radical honesty during the process of the interview and throughout the process of writing the story and finding out about his own personal boundaries with how far he could go with sharing his true thoughts with people. Brad Blanton, Brad Blanton uh, believed that the root of people's suffering was their dishonesty, that dishonesty, withholding, and deception have become the norms. He was a therapist for many years. I don't know if he practices anymore, but he witnessed that people that were anxious and depressed and the typical kinds of issues that are presenting when people come in for therapy, that they had often at the core of it uh, a lack of integrity, a lack of authenticity with who they were being. And so this problem, this, this core withholding of, of their true self manifested in various uh, forms of discomfort. And it makes sense because when we're first born, we're just ourselves, you know. We have our basic needs and we cry for them and we, you know, just do whatever comes natural to us in our expression of ourself. And then we learn that there is punishment for certain kinds of thoughts and feelings and behaviors and start to withhold, start to hold back to be liked, to be loved maintain employment and we become a performer and I believe a process of awakening occurs when we can no longer hold back and need to be ourselves and in this process of becoming ourselves we express ourselves truthfully first to ourselves and then to others and then that allows for the first time the ability to have real relationships it also may end relationships that are not strong enough to maintain honesty. And I found in reading Brad Blanton's book, I first read it maybe a decade ago or so. It was a big part of my uh, awakening. And I found that he himself is somewhat crass. His style of honesty I think is unnecessarily abrasive, but that when it's combined with empathy for the other person to whom you're communicating, it's very powerful. And the question is not whether or not you should be honest, it's how to be honest. Finding the right words. Is this something you can say in person? Is this something you can say on the phone? Is this something you can say through email or whatever? finding the medium, finding the right words to convey what is true for you, but in a way that is respectful towards another person. And in this interview that I read, Blanton stated that he did not believe, you know, that in issues of authority, <clears throat> which I agree with, um, the classic example is if you're hiding Anne Frank in your attic, don't tell the Nazis. And this can be extrapolated to other forms of, you know, authority that that is unfair, you know, and you want to protect yourself in ways that you feel are your right and uh, that kind of thing. But when it comes to the relationships that are your choice, the ones, the people that you want to have in your life. These are relationships that deserve your honesty. And my experience has been life just gets so much easier when you're honest. And anything that you feel you must be dishonest to attain can be attained and experienced in an honest manner. And only then can it truly be enjoyed. So many people are performers that they never have the experience of being loved for who they are. And so to risk the rejection, that risk comes with a potential 
reward of experiencing being truly appreciated for who you are, being known. And I believe, Blanton doesn't go this far in anything I've read by him, but I believe that it keeps us healthy. And I believe that we can live for a very, very long time, as long as we have a purpose and for as long as we uh, maintain the belief that we have something to do here. And it's simple. Just be honest. Be honest and stay healthy. Be honest and have a peaceful mind.